Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of Masters of Unity. Today we're going to learn how to create a terrain from an image that we can download from internet or an image that we can load from our resources, etc. I want to give thanks to Janek for asking me to do this video, so I hope you will find it useful. So we have a new empty project and I'm going to create a terrain. We're going to edit this terrain through script by using a height map. So I'm going to add a component called terrain controller or better terrain generator like this. So again, as usually, we are going to delete the update function because we're not going to need that. And first of all, I'm going to create a public texture 2D and I'm going to call it HMAP, standing for height map. So it's fairly simple. First, here in the start function, we want to create a variable of type terrain data. Terrain data holds a function that will allow us to set the height of each pixel in the terrain. And I'm going to call this tData and I'm going to set it equals to this dot get component and we want to get the terrain component and the terrain component has a variable called terrain data. So the function that will let us set the height is we get it from tdata.setHeight and if you see it as you can see here well it is still the same size but anyway the parameters is the starting x, the starting y and the float array of the heights. So how does this work? We have a height map which is a black and white picture and black represents a zero and a white totally white represents a one so any value in this grayscale between it it's going to give us a number a float in a float number from zero to one and that will be translated into the height of each pixel of our terrain so before we can do that we need to create a float array and it's a two-dimensional array I'm going to call this height and I'm going to set it equals to a new float and we have to set the length of this array so I'm just going to use hmap dot width and hmap dot height Now, we want to create a for loop so we can define each of the values inside our two-dimensional array. So I'm going to set a for and we're going to create an y equals zero. And while y is less than here, hmap.height, because we used to say y is the height and then y plus plus and inside here we have another for loop and this time for x so it's int x equals zero y is less than hmap dot width so x is representing our width and then x plus plus so here inside we can tell unity that the heights we want are as follows we have heights and we have x and y and this will be equals to each pixel of our h map our height map so how do we get those pixels it's actually very easy we just need to call a function called get pixel and it will return a color 
So the pixel that we want to get, we just give it a X and a Y coordinate. But we don't want to get the whole color, we just want the grayscale. So we're going to type dot and there you go, grayscale. So this is going to return a value from 0 to 1 depending on the color of that pixel. Is it easy, right? Now, we have an array of two dimensions with the grayscale of each pixel. Now we can set the height on the terrain data. So we just call back tdata.setHeight and we have three parameters where we start so I'm going to start at 0 and 0 there is X base and Y base and then we want to give it our heights array so this should be enough to create our terrain dynamically so now I just need to download a image so I'm going to try finding one in Bing height map and any will do um, I want to get one that is 512 maybe this one because it's 512 times 512 save image as and I'm going to save it here just going to call it hmap show in folder copy paste put it back into my assets folder just show in explorer assets paste so now we have a height map and we want to set this height map into our terrain we have to change something in the input settings and so first we need to click on advanced and you see there is a field that says read write enabled if we don't tick this the function that we're trying to call is going to give us an error because we didn't set this to read and write. If you are using an image that you downloaded from the internet, you don't need to worry about this step because read and write enabled is set true by default. So you don't have to worry about this step if you're using the web request www.texture. Make sure we saved and let's give it a try. I hope this works because I just learned how to do this. We try it. So we have an error. We're going to see what's that. Okay, so I I have a very silly error and I kept the Y here. So it should be an X. I'm sorry about that, guys. As you can see, it's almost 4 a.m. and I'm a little bit sleepy. But I want to do this for you guys. So here we go. I can see something. There is something something really really weird and the problem with this is that we have a 500 times 500 but then the height is 600 so it's, uh, it will be a little bit square so whenever there is a completely white spot in our height map like in these places we're going to get a 600 units height Dot. How we fix this is very easy. We just go to the settings of the terrain and we change the height. I'm going to change it to a hundred. So now you can see a much, much more natural landscape. It looks a bit like something that came out from Lord of the Rings. So maybe it's a bit too tall. I'm going to turn it to 50. And now we have something more like a, pl uh, a view from a plane. You can even see here it's like a maybe a sea or something. You have some mountains and some very very high peaks. So it looks very nice. And we did this from a picture on runtime. So after we stop playing, I realized that the terrain actually stays here. So you can use that method to create your terrains and then you have the data of the terrain saved here as an asset. 
So hopefully guys, this helped you to understand more how height maps work and that you can hopefully use this in one of your games. If you find this useful, please let me know by hitting that like button and sharing this video to your friends. Also remember to subscribe to my channel. I try to upload at least one video every week. And if you want some other kind of content or about a specific tutorial or something that you really need for your game, please let me know and I will try to make a video so I can help you. So thank you very much guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Good.